Hello, boys and girls. This is Bible for Wednesday, April 1. We definitely don't want to be fooling around when we're talking about Bible today because we're going to talk about the thing that is sometimes called the triumphal entry or Palm Sunday. So this year, Palm Sunday, the day of the triumphal entry, is going to be celebrated on this coming Sunday in just a few days. It's one week before Easter. And the story that we're commemorating with Palm Sunday is the day that Jesus entered Jerusalem looking very triumphant, like a conquering king coming to take his crown. Now, we talked before about how God made lots of promises and he tried to help people understand what he was going to do to help save them. But like we've said many times before, we're only human and he's God and we really can't understand his plans completely. Well, the people back in Jesus' day, we talked about this before too, they didn't really understand either. Remember when we talked about Christmas, we talked about how they were wanting a glorious conquering king so they could be strong and powerful again and make the Romans go away and they wouldn't have to pay taxes and other people would pay taxes to them. And everybody would think, man, those Jews are so amazing. They weren't looking for the kind of Messiah that Jesus was going to be. So, when the videos that you're going to watch today talk about the Pharisees, that was kind of what was going on. They, they weren't looking for God to rescue them the way Jesus came to rescue them. You know, we understand now, because Jesus came, that God works through things in very, very humble ways. But back then, all they really understood was that God was going to be really strong and powerful. And they could really only imagine that that would look one particular way. And, you know, anytime people have power, they don't really like to give it up. And when they saw Jesus come, they saw him as a big threat to their power. But on this day, on Palm Sunday with the triumphal entry, Jesus really looked the way a lot of people wanted their Messiah their salvation from God to look. So in the description for this video, I've put a link for three different videos. Each of them is less than five minutes long and you do not have to watch all three. Watch at least two of them. They'll, they'll tell the story of the triumphal entry. There's just one part they leave out. So go ahead, pause the video Click on those links down there, watch two of those videos, and then come back to me and I'm going to tell you the one more part of the story and give you the assignment for today. So boys and girls, that was Palm Sunday, the triumphal entry. Jesus coming into town like he was a king and everybody celebrating him. The disciples were so excited because they wanted Jesus to look like a king like that too. And they were disappointed later on when it didn't turn out that way. But the thing that those videos, in fact, all but one of the videos for kids that I found, all but one of them left this part out. At the end of it, you know, there are a lot of hills there and Jerusalem is built up on a hill. And then there are some other hills nearby all around it. You like to be up on a hill because that way if people were coming to attack you, you could look down and see them coming and it was easier to be ready for them. So Jerusalem was up on this big hill and there was a valley and not very far away was the mountain that's called the Mount of Olives in the Bible. And so Jesus was coming up over that Mount of Olives and when he got to the top of it, he could see across the valley to Jerusalem itself. And in Jerusalem itself, remember King Herod had built that beautiful, beautiful temple for them. Not as magnificent as the temple they used to have, but it was still really beautiful. Jesus got to the top of that Mount of Olives and he looked across at Jerusalem. And the Bible says he started to cry. Not like just a little bit of crying. The Bible says he was weeping, like the really hard, sobbing kind of cry that you have sometimes. And, you know, it's it can be hard to understand all the words people are saying when he was crying like that. But what they've written down that he was saying in the Bible is, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. We sent messengers to you to try to help you understand We've talked a little bit about how they got captured and taken into exile a long time ago, and some of the prophets had tried to warn them. 
Well, he was crying saying, the prophets and the helpers that were sent to you, you didn't listen to them. And even worse than not listening to them, you put them in jail and you killed some of them. You would not be helped. God tried to help you and you would not be helped. Then he said, I tried to gather you to protect you the way a mother hen would protect her baby chicks by fluffing out her wings and having her baby chicks come hide under her wings when something dangerous is coming by. You know, we talked before about how Jesus used normal everyday things to teach people about the things of God. So he talked about coins and he talked about sheep and he talked about all sorts of just regular, ordinary, everyday things that they could understand. So here, to talk about how he wanted to protect people, he was talking about a mother hen and her baby chicks. So boys and girls, today I want you to start thinking about if Jesus were here today, talking about protecting. You know, we don't all have mother hens and baby chicks around us anymore, do we? Sometimes we have hens, sometimes we have baby chicks, but very few people actually have hens who lay eggs and raise the baby chicks. So if Jesus were trying to tell this kind of thing right now, what would he use that we have all the time now today to talk about how he wanted to protect people? What example would he use to say, I really wanted to protect you just like this, but you wouldn't let me? Girls, you're going to be drawing in your encounter journals today. I'm going to do some examples for you that you should not draw because I'm going to use examples from a long time ago. You don't want to use examples from a long time ago. You want to use examples from right now today, protection sorts of things. But if you imagine a long time ago, I'll try to do this baby chick example Jesus gave. So, you know, I'm not using a uh, pencil here, so I can't erase any lines I don't like. I'm just stuck here with it. So here's Mama Hen. Here she is. And let's see, she's got big wings like this that she can spread out. And under these big wings go her little fluffy baby chicks so she can protect them. Now that's the example Jesus talked about, but you're not going to do that kind of one because you're going to do something from right now today. Here's another one oh, from a long time ago when there were lords and ladies and knights who fought on horseback. Here's a castle with big crenellated walls. The crenellations are these up and down things. Really good castles, they could have these crenellations because then you could have archers stand behind these little parts here with bows and arrows and then they could duck out and shoot a bow and arrow and then stand back behind the crenellation and protect themselves. So I'm thinking a castle could be another example of something that would be protective, but it's not an example from things that happen today. This would be something that would protect people a long time ago. Uh, here's another thing I got to thinking of. If any of you guys watch Little House on the Prairie, here is like a Little House on the Prairie age person. So there's, you know, they're wearing a long dress because this is for a girl. And I'm going to pretend she's kind of looking out that way. Because back then they really wanted to protect themselves from the sun. So they wore these hats that they called sunbonnets that had these big visor shade sorts of things that went over their heads to protect them. So boys and girls, don't do these old fashioned -y kinds of things. See if you can think of something modern and draw a picture of what you think Jesus might use as an example if he were doing something today of a way to protect us. So I used really old fashioned examples because I didn't want you to just copy my examples. See if you can come up with your own examples of things for today that we use to protect us that Jesus could have used as an example then when he was crying about Jerusalem and said, oh, I wanted to protect you so much, but you won't let me. All right, boys and girls, 
after you do that drawing, send me a picture of it. You can text it, email it, put it on Google Classroom. I'll see you tomorrow with more Bible.